Okay, welcome to Jack of All Trades. Today we're going to show you how to replace a, a switch on a fan assembly like this. Common problem is your children will pull the switch and they'll break at the switch. So we're going to show you how to actually open up the fan assembly and replace the switch. Now this fan's working. I'll take you over to my daughter's room. Same type of fan. We'll show you how to take the uh, casing off, uh, disconnect it, remove the old switch, and put the new one back in. So this is what we're talking about right there. That switch right there. Sometimes that wire coming through will break internally and then you're required to actually replace the switch itself. Okay, this is a zoom up of my daughter's fan. What I did was I took the bolts off a point to them. There's a bowl here, a bowl here, and a bowl here. And then the uh, lighting assembly comes down. Then you disconnect your wires. This white wire is going to be your, I believe, your ground. And this blue and black wire were connected to the damaged switch. This is one complete circuit when it's connected. So if you were to hook these two together and you had a light between a light bulb here against this one and this one, it would light. But what they've done is they put a switch between these two contacts. Now if you're not too sure which one's positive, negative, you can use your DVOM and hook up your positive lead to this one, your negative to this one, and get yourself a uh, a reading and uh, make sure that you know which side's the positive. Now if you hook up positive to this and negative to this and it comes out negative on your display then you know that it's opposite. So this would be your negative, this would be your positive. To here, negative to here and you get a plus reading on your DVOM then you know that uh, that's true positive. So you don't want to hook these up backwards because it's electricity. So make sure your circuit breaker is off when you do this too as well so you don't get zapped. And uh, we're going to go over the kitchen. I'm going to zoom in on the parts you're going to need. And I'm going to show you the part that I just took off there. Okay, so you're going to go to your store and order a switch like this. And open it up. And inside you're going to see this. Okay. Now this is your fan switch. It comes with two wires. And then you got this piece here. Now this piece here is the piece that broke on my uh, daughter's fan. Now let's go over here and we'll show you the assembly. This is what it looks like when you take it off your lights and this wire here goes to white and this one goes to has two parts this goes one on the blue and one on the black so we'll show you how to hook this up and then we have uh, also we bought these things they're push connectors so all you got to do is just push the wire like as you see behind the picture there into the into these you can put four wires you use one for each side so one for the white and then use a different connector for the black and you can allow to put four connections into one and then they won't come loose when you push them in it beats having to use those old twist tie types for for uh, AC work so this, this speeds things up a little and it says right here on the package it says uh, number 20 minimum gauge to 12 this is 18 AW gauge, AWG. So that falls within a spec of these adapters. So we know that they're gonna, when they lock in, they're gonna stay in, so. Okay, now that we're in my daughter's room, I took the uh, the lights off the bottom. You don't need to see this, but there's a screw here, there's a screw here, and there's a screw here. It just comes down. You're gonna have two wires coming to the switch. Like this is the switch I'm talking about, but there's gonna be one coming down. That's gonna turn on and off your uh, your device. This blue wire, it could be black, whatever, it's the positive, the white is the negative ground. So when you hook up your switch, you're just going to hook up the uh, switch. Make sure that the uh, it's in the positive line only. So you'll see, like the switch will connect here, the new switch, and then the black will come out and go over to the light assembly in the kitchen, which I'll show you in a second. And then this wire will connect directly to the white wire on the light assembly to complete the circuit. And how it works is when you pull the switch, it disconnects power between this line and the line that connects to it. The switch is there, shuts off the power, and then your fan will still spin, but your lights will be off. So that's how you, uh, and then, like these are quick kick uh, connectors, they just unplug. If you don't have these, you can just simply just use some wire cutters and cut the wire here and here, and then remove the uh, fan, is, remove the light assembly, and then take it into the other room so you can work on it. Okay, so as you see here, here is the uh, light assembly dis disassembled. Screw here, screw here, screw here. This is your white wire, so the plug. So this is going to plug directly into the white wire that I showed you up on the fan assembly. 
and this is the black wire, one wire. This was connected to the broken switch, which is now in pieces. So, and then this is your new switch right here. So you can get these at any local parts store. And all we're going to do is, it's basically simple. You're just going to wire that to that, like that. And then you're going to take this other wire, the other end, and attach it to the, well mine's is blue. But it would be black or whatever, attach it to that. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these. They're uh, crimpers. You just insert the wire in. It's a one-way deal. So once they're in, you cannot get them out. And they lock in. And you use uh, one for the white and one for the black. And uh, this little piece here, it comes with a little uh, string. Get your old string that was busted. Attach it to there. And then this piece here is threaded. So I'll show you here real quick. Undo this. This threaded piece will thread in to that hole right there. So you thread it in first, it locks it in. And then you put your cap on, tighten it, and then the switch is installed. And like I said, uh, this is a very easy job to do. And you can save yourself from having to buy a whole new fan assembly and uh, fix it yourself. Okay, so what you're going to do is grab your switch right here, get some wire cutters, and what you're going to want to do is you want to take off half an inch on each of the ends. Okay, so we're just going to want to grab our soldering gun, touch the tip, just tell the solder melts. Once we've done that, we can take our tips and just basically. Just like that. And what that's going to do is that's going to make these tips hard so when we go to push them in the connectors they'll stay. Okay now we're back at the connectors. Let's see this is cooled off a little. Let's see if this will work now. There we go. So let's zoom in there and we'll show you. See how that metal is going through and out through the case in there? That's what you want. And that's locked in, that ain't coming out. So we're going to do that. This one here. And we're going to, on this side here, we're going to do the same thing. Just take it. Push it in. That's locked in. And then we're going to take our uh, this part over here. Let's take the camera. We're going to chop this end off. And then we're going to put a solder tip on there and then uh, throw one more of these these connectors on there. And then we gotta you gotta take the tips off the uh, wires on the other side that are on the wall of the fan and solder the tips of those too. And then all you're gonna do is just push them in here and then these all four of these are make contact together. So this is the newest new uh, way they do uh, cabling. Use these things. So the old way used to be those those circular things. You put the caps on and turn them. So this is the first time I tried using these these. Uh, those new switches, those new uh, push thingies. So they seem to be working pretty good as long as you solder the tips of the wires. Okay, and then the last thing you want to do is, like I said, you connect it to this one. Now we're going to solder this wire here. We connect our switch, which is this here one of these. But before you do that, make sure you uh, screw it in first in the hole down here until it's tight and then, and then put the wire through and then do your connections. 
So if you connect it, you're not going to be able to spin it into the hole. Put it up. There you go. And then you're going to grab your other piece here. So you can see that on camera. Yep. Hook this piece up here. Pop it in. And then grab your old extension piece. Pop it in here, just like this. There you go. That's a fixed switch. So now we got to hook it up to the main unit in the uh, bedroom. And now, when that's on there, remember this wire that we just soldered right here? Let's uh, zoom out here and show you a bigger shot. Change the camera in here. There you go, that's better. Okay. Positive, positive. These two wires come from the switch. Right there, out, one on each side. This one's going to go into here. Like this, so you're just going to take it and push it in. Just like that, locks in. Then this one here is going to go and connect to the uh, blue wire, which is my black wire on my uh, coming out of my main fan on the wall. And this one will connect to the white wire. Now, all you're going to do once you do that is you're going to put your three screws back in, push it up, and then. Uh, do a quick test and it should work. Okay, well now that we have those uh, soldered up at the top, I'm just going to take a couple wires here. These are just tiny wires. One, two. Okay, so what we're going to do is just going to take this here and hook it in here like this. What that's going to do is that's just going to hold it up. And we can just hook our uh, little hooks. I only got two hands and I can't do everything myself. Okay, there we go. So what can I do? Just like that, okay? And that holds it in place. Find your black wire, the other connection, and press it in. Let's hope this works. There you go, it's in there like that. Grab our white wire. We need to find out where the white is. Maybe wire up here. That's the white wire. That connects into here. There you go. All done. White wire goes to the white. Black feeds into the one part of the switch. Through the switch. Right here and out through the black wire and back up to the blue wire, which is basically all you do is you're just splicing the black wire and putting a switch in it. And when you pull this, it should turn on. So let's go turn the fuse on and then we'll continue recording. Okay, so now that we have it all hooked up, let's run a test, pull the switch. And it works. So there you go, guys. Okay, so we'll get one screw in first and then we'll take out the other side. So you tuck your wiring all back in here, like so. Just like that. Okay, I'll just put one screw in just to hold it for now. Let's run our test again. There you go guys, there's a uh, how to fix a fan real quick, if the switch bus, this would work for all three switches if you have a dual fan like dual speed or on off, slow, reverse, any of these type of handles that you need to fix, uh, that's how you do it. So instead of why, why buy a new fan when you can fix it yourself for like 10 bucks. So thank you for watching Jack of All Trades, please subscribe, leave a comment, look for more videos to come in the future. Have a good day guys.